I like Nerf guns. There, I got that part over with. My one question about Nerf guns is, why will a Nerf dart sometimes travel farther than the last one? Have you noticed that with your own Nerf guns? I've noticed that with my Nerf guns. I'll shoot it, and then it won't. I'll shoot it once, it'll go pretty far. Then I'll shoot it again, and it won't go very far. And I've always been wondering why that is. And, well, today we're going to figure that out. So, these are my Nerf guns. At least the ones that decently work. Anyways, we only need two of these, so we're going to disqualify some. So, we're going to disqualify this big orange one. Because it shoots these tiny darts that never really get bunched up. So, disqualified. Then we're going to disqualify these. Because we have another pistol, which means that we're going to use this. We're going to use that blue one. And then we have these. We're going to disqualify this because it shoots really fast, really far. And it shoots, what is it, like little foam balls, I think. Like that. It shoots like this. Shoot these things. That leaves us with these two. We're going to disqualify this one, even though this one works slightly better ever since my friend kicked it. And then we're going to use this one because you can actually see the flywheel on the inside of it. So we're going to use those. Okay, so we're going to be using two darts, one brand new one and one that will be crunched up. So then we have something to replicate. A I don't know. We're just gonna we're gonna try this for science. This needs to be bunched up a lot more. Okay, so my guess is that the new dart, which is the one that I will shoot first, is going to go farther than the crunched up one. That I'm going to crunch up even more. I've really messed this up, but I'm just looking for one that's already been crunched up, but I'm not doing so good, so. I can't find one. Okay, I crunched it up. And then I somewhat fixed it. Okay. So, we're gonna just shoot it. Brand new one, crunched up one. Okay, we need an actual crunched up dart. So we're just going to fire and I think that the crunched up dart will do worse. Crunched up dart didn't work as well. It kind of curved a little too early. As for the normal dart, just went straight and hit the boxes a little higher that the GoPro saw. So now we have to try it with the electric gun. Okay, so now we have... So the electric one that has the flywheels, let me just show you, because if you don't know how the flywheels work, let's just show you. You can't see that they're spinning, but you can definitely hear it. Yeah. So as you saw, it just basically grabs hold of the dart and then it just flings it forward. And so now we have to see it actually makes a difference for the electric gun because for the handheld you have to load it type of gun it didn't do anything like well it did do something so now so now we're gonna try it with the electric gun the electric powered one see if there's actually a difference because all the flywheel has to do is grab it and fling it forward so would it actually technically make a difference no I don't actually think so but for the handheld gun that you have to load manually that one did make a difference because it's air I think it's air pressure don't quote me on that but still anyways let's see how it's different so we're gonna start with the crunched up one and then we're gonna do the normal one They flew exactly the same, but I just realized that it has to be all the way charged, so we're going to try that one again.
for the electric gun, it doesn't make a difference if it's crunched up or not. Thank you all for watching. Click up here to subscribe, and I've noticed that you guys really like my Nerf content, so I'm going to do it a little more, a little more than I used to. Anyways, see you next time, guys.